hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Down. So we're gonna finish exploring the slums or try to. I don't think we're actually gonna finish this episode. Let's go to the Jansen home. Despite the most important Jansen not being here right now. It is done. So we find him in a different location later on. Simple. If you wish. Talk to Tat. Stranger. I'll leave my kitty alone. I wasn't gonna to touch your cat. Shut up. I saw you looking at her. Okay. What do you want? How do you do? A pleasant day, yes? Ma Jansen? They must be friends of Jan, garbed as you are. If he's not here, you might catch him in the government district selling turnips. He might even be downstairs in the garden. If you wish. Then Tot. Who are you? You're really, really ugly. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Tot. A skylight in the roof shines light through this hole into the basement. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uncle, I don't know if it's Gerhart, Gerhart, or Gearhart. It is done. I just came here to find some turnips. I swear. Where's that blasted chicken? He thinks he swiped me sausage. As I thought. So I'm pretty sure these are all. I can okay. dance on the head of a pin as well. Fleet of foot and all that. Yoshimo is willing. Got your hero leveled up. Cool. All right. What do you need? I am awake. skilled in avoidance. Grab another another doom. We'll grab a slow poison. I can see that coming in handy. Uh, maybe a miscast magic here. And then probably conjure animals and heal. Though I could see harm being. Let's just grab heal. What? For now. You require my cup. Very well. Hi. Oh, God. Nothing. They. Oh, hello. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Need so foot. Whatever you need. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. That we would be doing such great things. Huh? Simple. I gotta check this wish. one. All right, let's head upstairs. If you wish, you must gather yeah, yeah. your party before venturing mm. forth. It is done. As I thought. Yes. What simple? Where shall I display my skill in exploit a foot and all that? Yoshimo is willing. You're right behind. Very well. So my only problem with the copper coronet right now is I don't remember which quests are time sensitive and which ones aren't. Oh, this is an antidote. I don't need an antidote, but he might. Huh? Yes. If memory fleet a foot and all that. And there are several companions to gain at the Copper Cornet. And I think some of them have time sensitive quests from the get go. Like in order to recruit them, uh, you have to start a quest. So it is done. I don't know how many companion quests I'm gonna do. I might do all of them in this playthrough. Except for the enhanced edition characters that uh, Dorn, Nira, and uh, Rasad, since I didn't do their quests in the previous games. Or, I guess, previous game and expansion. Out with it. If you wish. So I might not bother with their quests, just for continuity's sake. Though I am interested in Rasad's quest, because his quest actually leads to the recruitment of another companion. That I am interested in having, but he won't be a permanent member of the party. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, this isn't... I think in the last episode I mentioned this might be where the arena's located. That was silly. Uh, no, this is, a uh, something else entirely. My bad. And, uh, we actually need a companion to get inside of that, I believe. What do you want? If you wish. He's actually one of my preferred companions in this game, but, uh, not for this playthrough. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
It is done. As I thought. Alright, so now head into the Copper Cornet. We might end up going to another district before we actually finish exploring the Copper Cornet. Simple. Because there is a companion in here that does require if us wish. to go to the Graveyard District, I believe. What do you want? Hunger Hildark. If you Your wish. starting to wear on me nerves. Don't be bothering me, little one. I'm not in a pleasant mood this morn. Alright, then I won't talk to you. Yes. Oh, you've been hard. Ain't got much time for talking. It's business as usual around here. If you want service, just ask. That is, unless the lady would like something special. Thank you, but no. Tonight I am fine as I am. Suit yourself. What are the rest of you? Uh, can I maybe ask you a question or two? If you make it quick, sure. Shoot. A friend of mine has been kidnapped by the cowed wizards. Do you know where they keep their prisoners? Uh, nobody does. The council likes it that way. All the magic users caught are put out and put out of sight and forgotten about. No matter what the wizards wizards do to them, wizards. <laughs> the Harpers might know. If I were you, I'd track them down here in the city. Beware, though. Their aid rarely comes without a price attached. Do you know anything about the shadow thieves and their war? Only the whispers that come through here, which are hard to believe, really. Most of them agree that the shadow thieves are at war with the new rival guild. Beyond that, I'm not sure of the truth. If you go talk to Renal Bloodscalp, the head of the guild, be careful. Many have been killed in his schemes. Let's see what you have on tap. Doubt he has anything actually worth buying. As is usually the case. I might grab this scroll kit. Oh, Sword of Flame. This blade burns with a magical fire, and a charring blast is released whenever a hit is scored. Meta Infernum is etched on the hilt, though it appears somewhat faded. It may not be the may not be original to the sword. So we say a flaming longsword. I won't buy a scroll case for my main character to put these uh, narrative scrolls in. What? It is done as I thought. Simple. If you wish. Uh, what do you want? If you wish. Hello to you. I don't recall seeing your face in here before. Strangers aren't exactly welcome in these parts. Uh, then let's not remain strangers. I am Donald. Yes, well, I am Ledinin, proprietor of the Copper Coronet, if you will. Welcome. Alright, I'm looking to dispose of some coin. Any ideas on how to spend it? Coin is always welcome. You will find the Copper Coronet able to fulfill your needs, whether drink, rest, or other sorts of entertainment. Other sorts of entertainment? What are you talking about? Oh, one is always able to provide entertainment. Uh, things like companionship, perhaps, or gambling on battles, and other things. Yeah, what sorts of other things you're referring to? I'm interested. Very well. You look like one who might appreciate such entertainments. There's more to my little place than meets the eye. Of course there is. Isn't there always? Go over to the fellow by the door in the far wall and tell him I said to let you in. Talk to Frankie, perhaps Madame Nin, if you wish to partake. And enjoy. A thoroughly despicable man man in an equally despicable place. This is the sort of thing that natu comes naturally with civilization, it seems. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Hmm. You are back, I see. You wish something else? You're rather unfriendly for an innkeeper. Rather odd, I should think. It's an odd time. Strangers can be dangerous. If one is not careful, uh, you wish something? Perhaps I could see what services you have available. The copper cornet aims to please. But you must speak to Bernard if you wish to purchase something. Alright, so Hexat, Hexat over there. I don't know a lot about that companion. If you wish. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. 
Oh, this sort of place would normally be beneath me, but it has some of the most wonderful entertainments you see, if you know how to ask for them. Weird. Okay. Let's talk to Salvanus. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. I am Salvanus, conqueror of women and renowned around Faerun for my skill at love. But obviously, you and I have nothing further to say to one another, I am sure. I hot you, Geralt. If you wish. I need some ale. Hey now, uh, Morning Lord's blushing, excuse me. I don't be recognizing you. Uh, my name is Donald. Who might you be? Well, I be Geralt, thank you. Who was that? Now that you and I be proper friends and all, how about you buy, you buy Geralt a drink, guy? Well, here's five gold pieces, Geralt. I'm interested in hearing what's been going on around here, if you know of it. Going on? Oh, I be knowing. I certainly do. Uh, wish all your generous coin. With all your generous coin, I be looking for some of Letnin's entertainment. I. Entertainment. What kind of entertainment are you speaking of, Geralt? Well, that depends on what kind of fun you you was looking for. I. Letnin here. Letnin here. He serves all kinds. He does. Psst, hey, Gar or Geralt, my friend. Are you sure you should be talking about such things to strangers? Ack, I'm sure Letnin not be minding. Letnin, you serves all those who have coin aplenty, aye? Uh, he as Grippish in the back. As Grippish? I don't know what Grippish means. Sorry, I'm trying to decipher this as I read, because I hate reading accents. Uh, yeah, he, ha he has Grippers, Grippers in the back? I heard, uh, to waggers on a real fights with blood and all a oh, wager wager on Geralt be wary er oh I perhaps you should be asking Letnin for yourself if that's what you be wanting I have little enough coin for myself to have ever indulged well I appreciate the information friend I must be on my way I prowl to you then have yourself an ale for Geralt I yeah, uh, yeah. Right, let's talk to Hexit here I would speak with you. I need help. I need help getting... I'm begging your pardon, sir. Hexa is harmless enough, but she can be a little uncoordinated. Is she alright? Those aren't exactly the words I would use. I'm afraid she doesn't get much better than this. How so? She's in here every night. I should throw her out, but look at her. It'd be like kicking a sick dog. Milady, are you alright? Fine. I need to get to Dragomir's tomb in the the district with the graves. You wish to go to a tomb? Why? Treasure. There's a great treasure there in Dragomir's tomb. Graveyard. Enter from the graveyard. This comment's a little weird. Why don't I mention a headache? Eh, whatever. Why don't you spend some time with me and my friends? I've got a blistering headache at the moment. Otherwise, I'd be very interested in promises of treasure from a strange, faintly distant lady I met in an inn, and would be only too glad to join you in raiding this tomb of yours. Not mine. Not my tomb. Dragomir's. I must get to Dragomir's tomb in Graveyard District. Uh, you really want to visit this place, don't you? Very well, then. You'll come with me to the tomb. Of course. I haven't been to a good tomb in ages. Alright, so now she's in our party. What do you... What do you want? Hmm. Alright, so she's probably going to replace you with Shimo. Temporarily, anyway. I'm going to keep Yoshimo until we can get uh, Imoen back. Uh, 
Alright. Hmm. We do have her in the party. Uh, she... Yoshima is going to get kicked out here shortly, I think. Alright, here comes Nalia. Anyone willing to hear my plea? Anyone? You all know me. I've helped some of you. Is this the thanks I get? I've helped lots of your kind. So, I don't know if her first quest is time sensitive. Um, if someone could let me know in the comments section. I tried looking it up previously because I have no idea. And uh, I didn't see anything saying her first quest was time sensitive. But the way that she phrases it and the... Just the quest, the quest itself seems like it would be something that is time sensitive. Uh, you. Are you for hire? As a mercenary, I mean. You look capable and hardy, like you've had formal training. I might be able to help you. Calm down and tell me what's wrong. I need a strong hand to help me. My land is under siege, and none of this rabble will aid me. And after all I've done for their kind, too. Please, can you assist me? This rabble, their kind. What do you mean by this? Well, nothing really. Some people are just more privileged than others. It is not my fault, but I do my part to help those beneath me. You think they would be grateful. It sounds like you think your wealth makes you a better person than others. No, it's not like that at all. I just... I do what I can and try to be a good person. Those foppish snobs that hold themselves above everyone... above everyone make me ill. They have no respect for the hard life that poor classes endure. I help when I can, but I won't be able to in the future if my lands are sacked. Please, will you... will you help? Perhaps I can. I'll need to know my enemy, however. There is no time. I only hope that the attackers have not made it inside. If they have, if they have breached the inner courtyard, they'll be hard to rout. I'll tell you what secrets I can. Perhaps you'll be able to sneak in and attack from a more vulnerable spot. I hope Father is alright. He would not leave. Should I travel with you? I spent a few weeks slumming, and I'm quite capable of opening the odd lock. I had to pick three just to get out of the main keep. Auntie doesn't like me leaving at night, but how else can I donate to the poor and not be noticed? They have pride too, and... I really shouldn't be seen with him. You can travel on the party with me. I'm sure you'll be a useful addition. Wonderful. Do you help people often? I've often wanted to get away from the keep and auntie's rules. She doesn't understand that I just want to help people. Helping others is good. What a nice little girl you are. Would you like to see my boo? I think he approves of you too. You speak as if unaware of class distinction. And yet your manner exudes it. A sign of immaturity. Perhaps adventuring is not the place for you. Here, I'll mark the location on your map. We should head there immediately. Be careful not to be spotted. I hope everything is alright. Alright, I'll do as I've Yeah, I'll do as I've agreed, but you should know that my ultimate goal is to rescue an old friend of mine, above and beyond anything else. An old friend? Who's that? Her name is Imuin, and she's been taken prisoner by the cowed wizards. I'm not about to leave her to to their mercy. If she needs help, then of course I'm willing to help you find her, if you want me to. We have to take care of my family's situation first. That's all I ask. So we're actually going to just kick her out. Um, actually, kicking Yoshima out might not be a bad idea. For right now. I do not wish to end our pairing before our tasks are done. Perhaps our rest is in order. You sure you want to go separate paths? Oh, we don't need your services right now. Sorry, Yoshima. Uh, where do you want to meet if we're to adventure again together? I uh, go to the Copper Coronet. If we need to find you, we'll meet you there. So he'll wait here. How can I help? She is a oh, mage thief. I've never used her before. Hmm, she might actually be a good alternative to uh, Airy for as a temporary companion. Am I needed? Oh, she has haste. Hmm. Uh, Let's talk to Tiana real quick. He's in here somewhere! Uh, who might I ask is your husband? Rumar. Lord Rumar. You know who I'm talking about. 
Everyone here knows who I'm talking about. He's meeting her here again. Rumar's around here somewhere. No one will tell me where he is, but I'll get him. And his cheap slattern, too. You hear that, Rumar? I will get you for this. Uh, no, I don't know where he is. I'll find him eventually. I swear I'll find him. Simple. If you wish. Actually, most of y'all can stay back here. Alright, so Animan here is a contender for a permanent uh, party member. Yeah, yeah. Strangers, perhaps you have more courage than the worms that frequent this pit of corruption. I am Anoman, warrior priest of hell. What is your name? I am Donald. It is a pleasure to meet you. Well met. Speak then. Is your heart filled with courage, or be it steep in cowardice? Uh, when there is cause for courage, I have it in abundance. I trust that your accounting is true. Tell me then, Donald. Be you a force for evil or good? I am a force of righteousness. Perchance I have found worthy companions. I seek to be knighted in the most noble order of the Radiant Heart, and I must prove my worth first. Have you need of a strong warrior, my lord? I'd be infinitely pleased to have you join me. Welcome. Excellent. Adventure and honor await us both. You should know that I am hunting a powerful wizard by the name of Irenicus. There will be considerable danger involved. I am sure the wizard deserves whatever horrid fate lies in store for him. Animan Delrin shall stand beside you in your quest. Alright, we'll get rid of her for now. I don't know... Again, I don't know if her compan... Or, uh, sorry. If her quest is uh, time sensitive. I hope not. What? But I just joined. I can't wait around for you, though. I have to go to my family's land and help them. Alright, uh, if you still want to help, then that's where you should go. I'll meet you there, and we can plan the attack. I'll meet you there later. I still want to help, but I have things I must do first. Please hurry. I can't do much on my own. What is it now? And Animan is also, we're going to get rid of him here very, very shortly. But I can go ahead and give him this Warhammer that we got. I think he is better with maces. And spears, oh. Wait, can he use spears? Because he's a cleric. Well, he's a fighter cleric, but... I don't even know if he can equip a spear. He should be uh, restricted to... Or limited to cleric spells. Or sorry, cleric proficiencies. But he does have this uh, Dalrin family shield. Uh, this is Animan's family shield, given to him by his father. In addition to magical protection, the shield radiates an aura that grants the wielder fire and cold resist. resistance. Uh, to protect against ranged attacks, Animan can use his shield to erect a field of energy. His protection from normal missiles can be used three times per day. Two armor class, 30% fire and cold resist, and protection from normal missiles three times per day. Not bad. But yeah, he is... I plan on him being a permanent uh, it is done, as I thought. part of the party yes. after we do... Simple. A couple more quests. If you I'm wish. concerned because I don't remember which quests are time sensitive or not. You look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. Hi, greetings. I am Joe Love, or Joe Love. I've recently arrived from the ten towns of Icewind Dale. It was a long trek, but I wanted to get the most value I could from the items I had co collected up north. Athkatla is known as the richest city in all of Faerun, so I knew there would be adventurers about with the amount of coin I was looking for. Would you like to take a look at my wares? Absolutely. So he should have... Yeah, Defender of East Haven. That's a uh, very good flail. I'm not going to read the flavor text yet, uh, since I am reading all this other dialogue on our first go around the uh, the city. At some point in the future, I will read all of the uh, flavor text for all the unique items. Okay, Defender of East Haven is good because it gives you uh, armor class and resistance, just damage resistance in general, which is very good in the second half of the game and in uh, Throne of Ball. It's a very popular weapon. But I don't remember what this weapon does. Hit points plus 8. Okay. Sling of Everard. Oh. I did not know that. 
Okay. But yeah. Uh, he's basically like Deidre in the uh, promenade. What? So there's Yoshimo. I'll we'll talk to him right now. If you wish. Stay back, or you'll regret it. Oi! Look at the Dolly boy, all sacked up like an adventurer. Are you supposed to be tough or something? I. I'm not here to impress you, sir. Pour your insults elsewhere. Oh, sir, is it? Ha ha. I was right. You're a bleeding coward. Admit it. I'll admit to nothing. I refuse to continue this sparring with you. Poor baby. Poor little boy. Gonna run home to your mother, I. Oh, yes. Yes, you are a scary one. Ha ha. Um. I have no wish to cause any tr trouble or disturbance here. Desist. Oh, of course not. You're a goody goody, ain't you? An adventurer prancing through the forests. Yes, that's right. An adventurer and traveler. I'd be off with you. I've better things to attend to. So basically, you can't stop unless you walk away. Um. Yeah, please stop this rudeness, sir. I've had just about as much as I can take. Alright, watch it, you arrogant fool. Keep speaking to me in that tone, and you'll make me very angry. Oi, oi! That sounds like a bleeding challenge, it does. I have no fear of you, Dolly Boy. How about it then, I? Eh? You want to fight? Very well. It's a fight you want. I'll not back down from it. Y you hear that, boys? Looks like he wants to fight. No one said he was smart. I? Ha. Huh. Yeah, you're the best, Amalus. Oh, Donald, is. is this really necessary? Can't you just ignore him? So be it. Hey, Surly. What? What is it? I got some here some gold for a fight, and I'll lose you to be, sure enough. Bah, there's no need to yell so loud, Idget. Fine, fine. I have the bleeding pit set up for you. Once I seize your gold, that is. Alright then, friend. Let's step into the ring, shall we? Alright, let's, uh, drop on Holy Might, just to make this a little easier. Mine is the fist of death. This shouldn't be difficult for my character. All right, easy peasy. I can break an arm or a leg for a couple or two. Killed Amalus, you jerk. Yeah, be off with you. You killed Amalus. What am I gonna tell my mom? Hmm. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, what is it then? Surly is in no mood for Charles today. Come back tomorrow. Uh, what is it that you do here? What does it look like? I'm a priest of Lathander, and this here is a, a devotion to the Bloody Dawn Rabbits. Are you simple or something? Get out of my face. Well, you're obviously joking. Tell me who you are then. I'm Surly, and I manage the pit. No one else. Now beat it before I kick your arse out of here. The pit? You mean that this is some sort of fighting contest? This can't be legal. You fight, it's in the pit. Or gamble on a match. Buy a dog, it fights one of mine. If yours wins, double your coin. If it loses, I get your bet. That's a match, see? Well, I've got nobody to fight. How much do these matches cost? It's ten gold. You get a dog, yours fights one of mine. You win, you double your money. You lose, you lose your money. Now cough it up or get lost. Alright, here you go. This had better be good. I'll go, I'll go and round up the beastie. Once I bring him back, you can get in the pit and watch the fight. Wait here. I cannot believe you would partake in such cruelty, Donald. I refuse to watch this. You pay for dogs to fight in this filthy place? You cannot imagine my anger. I shall find properly heroic companions elsewhere if you continue such outrages. Oh, I didn't know it was going to upset everybody. Did I win? Uh, what you want? By Helm's arse, your sickly little flea bag actually won. Take your bloody winnings and be gone then. Uh, where's my last save at? Alright, fine. We'll take this if guy out again. Uh, Stay back, or you'll regret it.
So I don't want to make Minsk and Jahira angry. But yeah, after this we'll talk to Corgan and then it'll be about time to end the episode. Uh, we won't finish exploring the Copper Coronet because I want to finish the quest for Hexit and then Corgan. <laughs> Luckily they take place in the same location. Alright, uh, that sounds horrid. Why would you do such a thing? I got no time for tree-hugging pansies wetting their sheets over a legitimate enterprise. Now get lost. As I thought. Hi, right, Corgan. Drink hail, wassail for all. I be curious, friends. I'm scouring for a band of desperate men to aid me in a gallant task. You look like you, you keep undertakers in a brisk trade. Have you courage and time for a tale? Well, listen to your tale. Belly up, comrades. Like Corgan flail the bladder for a spell. A fortnight passed, me fellows and I were in the midst of obtaining an ancient text for our patron when a skirmish visited our midst. Vile words, alas, became a lake of bloodshed. So it goes the sacred grimoire never made it to our benefactor's hand, and now he awaits its arrival with zeal reserved for a grog blossom and an ale keg. The scuttlebutt is the pay is handsome, is the pay is handsome and worthy of note. Sacks of loot and odd magics. The volume sits not far from here, the bibliomaniac. He paces the floor in the meantime. Who is this book collector? Why his interest in this particular time-worn manual? Pimlico collects books just for the pleasure of collecting. Arcane, bizarre, peculiar, it matters not. Upon hearing of a curious map, chart, or book, he travels countless leagues to obtain it, fearful of entrusting his commission to anyone else. This were his first outside hire. As for the book itself, it not matters to me what lays twixt its skins. I'll not risk knowing I've bled for Elminster's memoirs or a driss or a driss loblolly recipe. Uh, tis called the Book of Kaza. Uh, where is the book then, Corgan? In some hobnail's tomb over in the lower crypts of the graveyard district. It's not abandoned, but rumors and half truths only scare the young and infirm. It keeps the curious away, me guess. Is there something we should know about this tomb? Well, it'll take far more than a few shambling bags of skin and stitches to deter Corgan blood axe from a king's ransom. A foolhardy John into a hive of undead? How could you resist? We'll join you in plundering this crypt of its riches. Drink hail, then let us then let us post haste to the crypt and riches beyond Ken. You should know, I tend to hunt down a rather powerful wizard by the name of Arenicus. There is considerable danger involved. As long as you help me Helps me plunder the tomb as I ask. I'll join you in skinning your mage, if it pleases ye. The mage will no sorry, the mage will be no danger with an axe in his belly, sure enough. So Corgan's actually a pretty handy companion to have. But he is evil and doesn't fit the theme of my party. My wings have been clipped. Oh, I wish you could understand how it feels to be bound to the ground, chained and weighted like a miserable prisoner of earth. What was it like to fly, Aerie? Oh, it... it's so hard to describe. It's the ultimate freedom, to soar above the clouds and become a part of the wind itself. I remember I used to be so happy. The clouds are a special place up there, Donald. It's like a land of billowing white beauty that you can almost walk upon. We must continue our travels. No, it'd be better to split up for now. I will go as you bid. We've done well together. I should like to rejoin when you have changed your mind. I will await you at the Copper Coronet. Alright, we'll meet you back at the Copper Coronet if we need your services again. What if you wish? Huh? Okay, so I'm gonna leave the Copper Coronet. I haven't talked to Lord Jiridin yet. I don't think his quest is time sensitive. Yes. Be quick with it. So, oh, he's chaotic evil. I didn't realize he was chaotic. So he's very good with axes. <laughs> Does he have an axe equipped? If he doesn't, I'm going to be super disappointed. Okay, he does. Battle axe plus one at that. Cool. What, huh? 
Alright, I'm not going to talk to Lord Jiridin yet. Uh, we're going to go take care of Hexet and Corgan's quests. Because again, they take place in the same location. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Now one flaw with this party is that... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Corgan and Aerie do not get hmm. along. It is done. And I'm hoping that I can wrap up these quests before they uh, get really thought? mad at one another. Let's head to the Graveyard District. Waylon. Alright. And I'm going to call the episode here. In the next one, we will try and take care of two what companion quests. Want, what do you want? Now, as far as companion quests go, I don't know if I'm going to do Dorns, Neras, and uh, Rasads. The Rasads does lead to another potential companion. And Dorns is actually pretty good in this game. So... I don't know. But I didn't do their quests in the first game, which I regret. I had forgotten to do them. I meant to. So, I don't know if I'm going to do them in this game, just for the sake of continuity, but we'll see. I think Hexot is also a, uh, an Enhanced Edition companion, if I'm not mistaken. What? But obviously she's not in the first Baldur's Gate, just the, just this one. But alright, yeah, next episode we'll start exploring the Graveyard District, see if we can't find a book, and go to this uh, not-suspicious tomb at all. Or not at all suspicious to him. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. Huh? Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.